In a display of financial wizardry, fantastically corrupt Nigeria plans to spend 5.4 trillion naira in 2024 to keep petrol prices fixed, a 50% increase from 2023. When converted to dollars, it would be $3.7 billion. While spending this sum on a fake subsidy, they would simultaneously borrow an extra 6.6 .6 trillion naira to fill budget gaps. What marvelous leaders Nigerians have. According to the Minister of Finance's draft documents, at current rates, it's projected that 5.4 trillion naira by the end of 2024 will be mapped out for expenditure on the supposedly non-existent fuel subsidy. Ironically, last year, subsidy was budgeted at 3.6 trillion naira and the paltry 2.0 trillion naira in 2022. However, in a year, President Tinubu claims subsidy has been removed, 5.4 trillion has been mapped out for the evil spirit of subsidy. Seems this spirit has a reason for lurking around Tinubu, even after his claims of rebuking it last year. The ASAP draft by the finance minister titled, Accelerated Stabilization and Advancement Plan, aims to confront challenges associated with reforms intended to stimulate growth. Perhaps that's why they seem to be in a hurry to spend lavishly on things that don't exist. No wonder Shalipopi said ASAP ASAP. He probably knew something we didn't. Right now, Nigerians shamelessly admit they miss ex-president Buhari, whose policies, although frustrating, weaken in comparison to the depth of anguish Tinubu has thrown Nigerians in since resuming office in May 2023. Despite facing intense pressure from labor unions over the skyrocketing cost of living due to his reforms, Tinubu has steadfastly vowed not to reverse them. After all, who needs affordable living when you have landmark reforms like the planet-saving, life-giving, oldly new national anthem? Nigeria, ever the model of what a country should never be, relies on imported petroleum products due to the near-total inactivity of its state-owned refineries. Despite all these, the most beautiful part of Nigeria remains Tinubu's photo ops and dentition. At least Nigerians, while suffering, can enjoy the president's constant smile as he loves being in front of the camera. Follow me for more news you need to know.